Welcome to my new website, WWE's Wacky Wrestling. So today I'll be reviewing my first live event, WWE at Madison Square Gardens. Right, so the first thing I want to talk about is the main event. The main event was between John Cena and Seth Rollins. It was a great match from the two superstars who I think are the top two guys in the business right now. No matter how many times they face each other, I don't get bored. The finish I thought was great for a moment because I thought Rollins would win the US title until I saw the Demon Kane heading towards the ring. Also, I liked the finish because it made Rollins look strong because he would have won the title hadn't Kane turned up. Kane destroyed Rollins with a chokeslam and tombstone, which surely sets up Kane versus Rollins at Hell in the Cell. Cena is rumoured to have some time off in the future, so it'd be interesting to see who he loses his title to. Right, the second match, Lesnar versus The Big Show. It was short and what I expected. Both guys were made to look strong. Big Show come out firing on all cylinders. With three choke slams, but Lesnar didn't look hurt at all. He just kept getting up and up. And after that, Big Show went to Suplex City, and it was practically over. Yeah, so that was a short match. The other matches on the card were the New Day against the Dudleys, which I thought match was all right, but again, it was nothing special, and doesn't make me excited for the future matches they have great chemistry the new day are hilarious with all these different gimmicks but i don't know i just feel that dudley's heart isn't really in it and the matches just aren't great and the finishes was was the same as night champions with xavier woods breaking up the pinfall yeah so surely they're gonna have a rematch in hell in the cell other matches were on the card which i really enjoyed was kevin owens against chris jericho I really like Kevin Owens, I think he's one of the stars right now, he always seems to have great matches and it was a great match against Chris Jericho and I also like the finish because Chris Jericho was going to get the walls of Jericho but Kevin Owens reversed it and got a small package for a win so it seems like he stole the victory because Jericho had him in the walls so he keeps a belt but I think in this life special no one expected Jericho to win the Intercontinental title because he only seems to be doing part-time shows but I really enjoyed the match the other matches